Hello, brethren and brothers Anna David. I welcome you to Biblical Sexual Purity. Uh, I want to share with us a revelation that I had yesterday. I was so tired, and when I went to church yesterday evening, I fell asleep. And while I was uh, asleep, I had a vision. Oh, I had a dream. It was like a dream or a trance. I don't know, but I was asleep. I fell asleep, though not very deep. So I saw a lady putting on a uh, skin tight uh, trousers. It was light and with her lap. The Lord was showing me her lap and the Lord was saying, Hosanna, these things are seductive. Warn these people not to put on these things. Warn these people not to put on these things. Warn them not to dress like this. Talk about these things. Speak against these things. Now I've resolved. I've received enough warning from the Lord. Uh, some have posted, I, I have to do the work of God. I don't want to mind shame. I don't mind. I don't want to mind who is for me and who is against God and who does not support the truth. I just have to speak the truth and forget about people who are against the truth. I don't want to care about pastors who are going to hell, who are telling people that God does not look at what you put on that is not concerned about your physical appearance is concerned about your heart. But I tell you that the Lord has been warning me. He has been revealing things like this to me. Uh, some have posted on my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com, and even posted on uh, my YouTube channel, BS Purity TV. Please stay away from these things. A lot of ministers are going to hell. They know that they have signed their contracts with the devil. But it pains my heart because these people are misleading you. They are taking you to hell. Some of you don't have money. You sow money into their lives. You give, you even sell your properties and give to them. You give your only cash to them. And they are telling you what you need to hear. They don't want to tell you that God is angry with people who put on dresses, who dress like prostitutes. The, the Bible says that there is a dressing that is that of a prostitute. But a lot of us don't want to hear this truth. We believe that we are living under grace. But grace the Bible says in Romans, it says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? No. Please, every part of your body should be dedicated to God, should give glory to God. If people see you and they are looking at the your the your body and they are just lusting after you, you are not preaching Christ. You are misrepresenting Jesus Christ. Even when the children of the world are doing it, please don't do it. God hates indecent dressing. He hates sensual look. God created sex, but we should not use our body to worship God, to worship sex. We should use our body to worship God and glorify God. We shouldn't use it to uh, worship sex, either the way we dress, either through also the way we we look or the way we appear we should make sure that god is glorified in our bodies and in our dressing too if uh, a pastor a female pastor puts on bump bump shot and comes to you with a big bible to preach to you how will you feel how will you feel so please we make very little impact on unbelievers because we are saying one thing we are telling them that god is holy but in our appearance a lot of us we are not holy so how would you how would you change somebody how can you change somebody when you look exactly like the person you want to change because of this you have you we we have a lot of sinners in the church whose hearts have become so hardened that is what jesus actually said that what are you scribes and pharisees you go to fire on the earth through seas to make a single proselyte. And when you've made the convert, you make that convert twice worse than the child of hell. So a lot of people are in church, don't believe that they are saved, but they dress the way they want. They dress like a prostitute on the street. So they have little or no impact they make on the life of the unbeliever. Please repent and stop obeying your first pastors who tell you lies, God is a holy God, and obey your Bible. Thank you, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also follow me, BS Spirit TV, and other social media platform, biblicalsexualpurity.com. Once again, I'm Brother Zana David. Share my videos. I own no copyright to my video, provided you share them with good intention to do the work of God. Just share them so that people can hear the truth and be saved. Hell fire is filled up we don't want more people to go to hell god bless you bye bye